What's up you guys, it's Adonis. So I have gotten this question asked a few times and I wanted to address it because I think that it's it's really important that you guys understand um, just a little bit more about the PA application cycle and how to get into PA school, okay? Uh, so the question that was asked was, what are the easiest PA programs to get into? And so um, I have some stuff to say about that, so let's get into the video right now. What's up, you guys? It's Sedona. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so like I said, I've been asked this question a lot. Um, the question is, what are the easiest PA programs to get into? Now, like, I I don't think that any PA program would be like, oh, we're the easiest PA program to get into. Come join our program. Um, because that kind of looks bad on them. Like, if it's easy to get into something, then you think, like, the education is not uh, up to par, okay? So I don't think that there are any, like, easiest programs to get into, but there are programs with less stringent requirements. Now, the main requirement that I'm going to be talking about in this video is GPA requirement, because that seems to be the crux of everybody's like issue with getting into PA school. They do not meet the minimum GPA requirement. If you've ever applied to PA school or looked into applying to PA school, you know that the majority of programs require a GPA of 3.0 or above. And there are some programs that require a GPA of 3.5 or above, okay? Um, so what I'm going to do in this video is give you six programs that I found just by quickly looking through PAEA online. Um, there is also, they have that program directory that you can go into and put in your filters. Uh, there's also my PA box that you can go to and you can use my code down the PA if you want to check that out because they do have um, this option called a PA match and in that PA match you can put in whatever the requirements you want to see are and it will pull up those programs okay so those are two resources my PA box is it does cost okay um, and PAEA online is free okay it's a free resource so just for your benefit but there are six programs that I'm going to list that have a minimum GPA requirement of 2.0 or below. Below meaning uh, like 2.75 or 2.70 or no minimum requirement at all. And there are more schools that kind of fall into this, but you're just going to have to do your own research yourself because like I said, the things that you work for are those that you typically usually appreciate, okay? So the first program that I'm going to talk about is Albany College. Now, Albany College is located in New York. It, they have no minimum GPA requirements. So uh, that is something that if you are struggling to hit that 3.0 mark, but you have like thousands of patient care experience um, that you're, you know, for the most part, your prerequisite requirements are like a 4.0, but your overall GPA requirement may be like a 2.0 nine or something along that mark, that mark, then this is a program that you might want to look into applying to, okay? Um, there's going to be other prerequisite requirements that you're going to have to meet uh, if they require the GRE or not, or CASPER, or, um, you know, those, or the PA CAT. Those are things that you're going to have to look into. But as far as this video goes, I'm only addressing GPA. So they have no minimum GPA requirement. Uh, so that is something that if you're struggling with your GPA, check out Albany College, okay? And I'll leave a list of all of these uh, schools in the comment section. I will pin them uh, and then you can just go and check them out yourself, all right? So the next one is the University of Utah. Now, um, obviously, if you are in Florida, you might not want to travel to Utah to go to school. But hey, I always tell you guys, PA school is kind of like heaven. It doesn't matter like where, when you get in, if you're the first, if you're the last, it's as long as you get in, right? And so if this is a program that accepts you, then why would you not want to go? Um, and if there's a potential because you are struggling with your GPA, again why would you not want to go to this pa program okay so the university of utah has a minimum gpa requirement of 2.7 so obviously again if you're at that 2.9 2.85 mark then this is a program that you might want to apply to because their gpa requirement is below their minimum gpa requirement is below what your gpa currently is which is a plus when you're applying to pa school it's all about like 
putting your best foot forward slash making sure that you are like the best version of yourself for that program, right? So if you're above their GPA requirements, then this is a program that you wanna to apply to because your likelihood of getting an interview is increased, right? Versus decreased because you're not meeting the, gym, the minimum requirements at all. All right, the next school is Roslyn Franklin University, uh, their School of Medicine and Science. Uh, their minimum GPA requirement is a 2.75. And now this has typically kind of been the GPA requirement that I've seen when looking at schools that don't have a minimum GPA requirement of 3.0. So these schools that have no minimum GPA requirement or a minimum GPA requirement of 2.7 is actually like a, a rare find. It's like a diamond in the rough, right? As Aladdin says. So uh, I think that it's really important that you do your research. I always tell you guys this, this is Adana doing her little like research here, but you need to do your research because you are the captain of your own ship ship you're the one that is driving this boat in terms of what programs will go well for you what programs will um be a benefit to your learning you know program style and so although Rosalind franklin may have a gpa requirement of 2.75 maybe uh they only offer that maybe they offer like I don't know, 70 slots or something along those lines. And you're like, oh, I, I would rather be at a school that has, you know, 25. And so you really need to look at all of the components of the admission requirements and of the program. But ultimately, this their GPA requirement is only a 2.75. So it is a good find for you to apply to this program if you are struggling with your GPA. All right, so the next school is Northwestern University's PA program. Their GPA requirement is a 2.8. Uh, again, a little odd, you know, it's not quite your 2.7, 2.75, it's a 2.8. And so they've kind of raised the bar just a, a smidge. Um, and I do wanna like just kind of put a pin in this really quickly because ultimately, the PA profession is like rapidly increasing. We've seen this over the course of the last three years. It's been in the top three, top one um, best jobs in America. And so it it, it goes to, to reason that these requirements will increase. Like the, the Rosalind Franklins and, you know, the Albany colleges aren't going to continue to keep these minimum GPA requirements because at the end of the day, they're going to need to make that benchmark just a little bit. They're going to have to push that goal mark a little bit further so that they can be even more picky with their students. So I just want you guys to be mindful of that because this 2.8 for Northwestern isn't gonna stay 2.8 forever, okay? So that is why you shoot your shot now. If you have a GPA that is like a 2.9, 2.99, 2.94, their minimum GPA requirement is a 2.8. So this is a good program to try and get into, to you know put your application in because you never know, all right? The next school that I'm gonna talk about is Stanford University. I know, right? Stanford. Um, they have no minimum GPA requirement, okay? Zero. No minimum GPA requirement. But I do want to give you a little caveat, okay? So although they're printed on their like website, it says no minimum GPA requirement, you, you do have a recommended GPA, which is a 3.0, okay? So it says that their students that are, their applicants that are the most competitive have a GPA of 3.0 or above. However, there is no minimum GPA requirement. And that is the that is the trick with a lot of these schools. And I don't want to call a trick, but that is the, I would say, like I said, the caveat with a lot of these programs. Although they have these no minimums or minimum GPAs that are below a 3.0, the majority of the students that they're accepting have a GPA of a 3.0 or higher. Um, but you just want to apply to these programs because you may have other intangibles that you can offer apart from your GPA. And you don't want to be completely like not um, accounted for or not like or overseen or overlooked because simply you're not meeting the GPA requirement. So if you're putting in a 2.8 
or a 2.9, but like I said, you have like 10,000 patient care experience hours because you've been working in another healthcare field for years, for decades, or something like along those lines. Um, and you know, you've been doing a really good job in your last like 40 credits or whatever the case may be that you've had to retake. These are the type of programs that you really want to apply to because they look a little bit more at you holistically than just like the benchmark um, prerequisite requirement points, okay? Just checking, the, checking those boxes. And last but not least, the next program that I wanna to talk to you about is Wake Forest, okay? Wake Forest, there is no minimum GPA requirement for them as well. And so this, again, is another program that you would wanna look into. It says that their competitive, you know, uh, students, again, will have higher uh, standards in terms of like GPA and GRE scores, uh, a little bit above that 3.0 mark. Um, if you look at their peer PA students that they have uh, allowed to ad be admitted into their program. Uh, that is something I always tell you guys to look at because although these requirements may say 2.0 or 3.0, look at what their cohorts are coming in and with their average, right? Is it like a 3.3? Is it a 3.5? And then you can strive to get to that point, but as long as you're at the minimum, it is something that you should very, very, very much think about applying to. Uh, but those are the schools, okay? So Albany College, University of Utah, Roslyn Franklin, Northwestern University, uh, Stanford University, and Wake Forest. Those are your six programs that I suggest you look into, do a little bit more research on them. Uh, not quite the easiest programs to get into, but they do have a, a little bit lower of a requirement with respect to the GPA. And I will also list out like some schools in my upcoming videos uh, that that don't require the GRE for those of you that do not want to take the GRE. Okay, so be sure to tune in for that video. If you have any other questions or comments for me, you already know what to do. Leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Donna PA and on Instagram at Get That to University, where we help you not only get into but through PA school. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.